Hello and welcome back to our Phoenix Point Blood and Titanium playthrough. I've been having a little think in between missions, deciding what we're going to do next. And what I want to do is take out this Pandoran nest, but I'd like to do it with the crew of the Manticore to try and get these guys some experience. Now we have just recently picked up a heavy, but we are still not full crewed here. So what we're going to do is we are going to fly to this Synedrian um, base here and pick ourselves up a priest. So let's go and head over there. And we've also now finished researching advanced bionic technology. A new series of equipment and procedures now allow test subjects to have parts of their bodies replaced with more sophisticated mechanical components, increasing their efficiency in battle. Thanks to the development of bioalloys, implant rejection rates are less than 0.02%, allowing nearly seamless incorporation of original nervous system and other connecting tissue. As of yet, bionic self preparation has proven unsuccessful, requiring complete replacement should a malfunction occur. All new implants can now be produced in the bionics lab. So this gives us access to the disruptor head, uh, which allows us to disrupt a target for one turn, causing it, causing it to become disorientated. Uh, we also have the propeller legs, which give us um, the ability to rocket leap. Now, that doesn't give us as good a range as the uh, jump jets from the heavy, but still quite useful. And we have the neural, neural torso. Uh, that allows us to carry uh, double weight without a movement penalty. So we've got some new stuff we can build. In the meantime, we're heading back to Phoenix Point with the Thunderbird because we want these guys to heal up. We do have a promotion here. Uh, that promotion is on uh, Dane. It's currently showing some weapons haven't been loaded also. That is because... Um, we used a charge from our technician arms. We do have a, a spare pa energy pack for it, but we don't have the ability to manufacture more at the moment. So I'm not going to swap that out. There's no point in doing so. I use the charges very little, so we'll stick with what we have. Uh, we can see those second tiers of augmentations here now. So we have the ability to pick up the, uh, the tier two augmentations. There's the disruptor head. You want to see what that looks like. And then we've got the... Uh, the torso and then finally the legs and i believe we already have those legs on one of our uh assaults i believe i think we we picked up at some point we uh we grabbed an assault from new jericho not sure which one it was but i thought we had one yeah this guy now oh, this guy's got the heavy legs uh, also our new heavy uh comes with an augmentation straight out of the box uh, he has the uh, the clarity head, so he's immune to mind control. So that could be very useful for us. Um, he's got some uh, empty ready item slots, which is what the little uh, assault rifle with the exclamation mark next to it means. It just basically means that uh, there's at least one ready item slot that is open. I could go ahead and put something in there, such as uh, a grenade or a med kit, but we're already on our encumbrance limit. Once he's leveled up a little bit, we can go ahead and, and increase his weight limit. So let's go and deal with the promotion for Dane here. So field medic, restore 10 hit points and 10 armor to all body parts of the selected target. Disabled body parts are restored. Well, that's quite useful. Ready for, act for action, free uh, reloads and inventory actions. Also good. So yeah, I definitely think we want to pick up um, field medic right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, let's get him some additional willpower because it's quite low. So that uh, will make things a little bit better for us. So let's go back to the Geoscape. Let us go and unpause. Making a few round trips. We're just going to stay there with um, Thunderbird 2 until they heal up. Right, Thunderbird 2 has now fully healed. So... I am going to get the crew of that to go and start investigating some of these other sites. And we have now arrived here at this haven. And we can recruit a soldier. We can easily afford to do that. We have ourselves the, um, the soldier. So we've got this button now. 
Uh, you might not have noticed this. This was added in the Derleth patch, the info button next to recruit soldier. If we click on that, it will actually show us the details of the soldier before we pick them up. It shows us what they what equipment they're carrying and any particular uh, augmentations that they may have. But let's go ahead and get ourselves a new recruit. There we go. We now have uh, a full complement. So we're going to bring Manticore. Uh, one back to this nest. We're not quite at full health with this assault here, but I don't think that's a big problem. This is a transmission to the world. The rising tide of salvation has begun. While you all cower in your own filth and deviancy, the pure have started the cleansing wave to rid the world of all impurities. No haven is safe, whatever treacherous leader or hopeless beliefs they follow. You have two choices. Cast off your flesh or have it stripped for you. Okay, so another announcement from the Pure. Right, let's carry on with what we were doing, getting everybody into place. You have now arrived. You're going to uh, explore that site. Who will complete it first? Uh, there we go. The games we used to play, Exploration Site. What at first appears to be a bunker that might hide survivors turns out to be more of an archive. At some point before the collapse, someone used this facility to save an extensive collection of computer games for a long-defunct operating system, DOS. Word of this discovery causes an unusual wave of nostalgia and excitement, accumulating in requests from New Jericho and Synedrian for the material to be shared. Well, we're not too bothered about New Jericho. Um, we could share it with Synedrian. Uh, we're trying to get friendly with Synedrian. Um, we've already burnt our bridges with New Jericho, so we'll share it with Synedrian. The enthusiasts of Synedrian are grateful for this precious artifact of hum human ingenuity with the, the crude militarists of New Jericho wouldn't be able to appreciate. Most likely they don't even know how to create the proper CRT look, the message from Synedrian notes. And where are we going to move you uh, now? Because there's a few other places we can do. We've got an exploration site here that we need to take a look at. And we've also got a mission over there that we need to do. So, yeah, let's go and start heading towards those. Although we should arrive at the nest first. And indeed we do. Now, we've got to be careful here because we are using a team of relative rookies. So we do need to take care. But all we need to do is take out the hatching sentinels. So let's go and get ready for that. Uh, everybody here is in a good position maybe we could give something else to our priest here um you don't need to be carrying your magazines in item slots in ready slots although it does allow the, them to reload faster so it's not a bad thing let's go ahead and give you a med kit how are we on grenades we've got a few grenades with us so i think that is um decent excellent yep you've got grenades we've got some med kits we need to manufacture some more grenades actually we don't have a huge number but let's jump on in so we do have two full squads at the moment let's hope we can keep things that way and as soon as the mission starts we are able to see one sentinel over there there are a few eggs close by so we do want to be a little careful we've also got an egg over in this direction so let's see if we can't start off by taking a shot with our sniper here. That's worth remembering. We don't really have any uh, fancy abilities at the moment. So we can go ahead and aim at this thing. We might be able to, uh, to take it out. Now it is alerted, so we really need to finish it off this turn. Now, our heavy actually has the machine gun. He doesn't have a lot of movement, though, so he's not really going to be awesome. using it on this turn. We've got a few shotguns here as well. So let's try and get some of our soldiers into a position where they might be able to take this out. We'll move around with this assault first. Preparing to fire. And what we really want to do is to take out this sentinel if we can. So let's aim for the big squishy part. Decent amount of damage, but we would have liked to have done more. Move around with this assault. Zooming in. And there's the sentinel. Come on, finish it off. Don't miss. Ah, oh, we missed. Okay, now we've got some issues because I would have liked to have taken that down. Uh, we do have another assault here, but we have a shotgun. Hitting that is very unlikely to happen. 
Uh, we might be able to take that shot with the uh, priest, actually. You might be in a good position to hit it from there. Let's let's give it a go. Just have the redeemer. Excellent. Good weapon as well. It's the virus weapon, the redeemer. And uh, virus damage, when applied to uh, an enemy, reduces its willpower. So it's very good against things like sirens. Let's go ahead and put this uh, assault down here. Now, he has the uh, Iconoclast, which is a shotgun. And we'll just have him overwatching in that direction should anything nasty decide it wants to come around the corner. And we've got our heavy here who can't do an awful lot. But let's start moving him in this direction because, you know, he's got a lot of armor so he can tank damage. And uh, that heavy machine gun is also really, really useful. Uh, and furthermore, he also has the rocket launcher. So we, we've we've got some good stuff going on there. We can't really move anyone else right now. So let's go ahead and end the turn. This is where we start seeing tritons and arthrons just like crawling out of the woodwork. There is our first triton. There is our first arthron. Now he does have a grenade launcher. So really want to get rid of him quickly. Oh, that was... That was my bad placement by having everybody grouped really close together. That was poor positioning on my part. We do have a Triton coming in. With a shotgun. Already uh, done some damage to my priest, which I don't appreciate. So. Let us start by healing up our priest. Because he's taken a bit of a knock there. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to heal on our brand new priest. Because we don't want to lose him. Now, as we've got our heavy here let's right up move. front, uh, let's go ahead and have some fun with the HMG. We can't really uh, afford to move and still be able to fire this. So we're going to go for the uh, for the Triton here. Wasn't enough to get a kill, but we've done a decent amount of damage to him. So let's see if we can finish these guys off. We will be moving forwards a little bit, and we definitely want to take that Arthur out. Knowing they've got grenade launchers is, is not a good thing. Okay, so the Triton's down. That's that's the first problem solved. Uh, we do have a couple of other people here that we can utilize. Oh, you've done the heal. We switch you back to... Yep, you're on your assault rifle. Now, can you actually see that Arthron from there? Not easily. You can, possibly. So we can try and take you out with the sniper. We can certainly try and take the grenade launcher out at least. There we go. He no longer has a launcher arm. He does still have a pincer, so we can attack in melee. So let's move um, forwards and take a shot with our priest. We're not going to do a huge amount of damage here. But we have given him some virus infection. Okay, that's just really leaving this guy here, and we've got to be careful of that Triton. So we are going to uh, move. move back into cover a little bit, and we're just going to overwatch in that direction in case that Triton comes closer. Okay, let's end the turn and see what happens with that Arthron. So he is losing will points, uh, and he will lose will points every turn, but then the amount of virus will go down. Now, he actually has the spit ahead as well. He's actually uh, put poison damage onto one of our assaults. But that's not too terrible. There's a shotgun shot coming in from the Triton. But we do get a heal there because uh, we've got uh, a nice mutation that really helps with that. Okay, let's try and finish this guy off. We're going to use the heavy. And then hopefully there can be no mistakes. Yes, you are well and truly down. Now, I don't... Uh, I don't know if I've got the ability to manufa uh, manufacture spare uh, magazines for the um, New Jericho Heavy Machine Gun. I think I remember researching it, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you are going to lose a lot of health, so you're going to uh, self-heal. And that gets rid of the poison. And then we can start to move forwards and see if there's anything else over here. We spotted another enemy, but it's only an egg. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. And now we can start using these guys to uh, get rid of the enemies in this direction. 
we move here, we should have a good shot on that Triton. We've disabled his head. That was a very good shot. And I think we're going to move in this direction with this assault also. Let's actually move straight here with the assault. That might be able to finish the Triton off. Oh, we just survived. He will bleed out on the next turn. At least he should do. But we can go in and make sure of that. So, let's just fire the shotgun. And just put you back around this corner. So, most people that can move have moved. Let's end the turn. And there we go. We've got another Arthron coming in from this side of the map. Now, again, he's going to have a spit ahead. He's going to have a grenade launcher. Because everything in the nest is going to have the same uh, the same build, essentially. So let's start by moving forwards with the sniper. All I need is a clear shot. That's a mine fragger egg. There is the Arthon. Can't see him at the moment. There is a little bit of an issue right now with the um, fog of war not showing properly. But we'll get that fixed. We'll take that shot anyway. There's 90 damage. And uh, we can start moving forward with the rest of the team. Now, we don't want to hit the egg. We want to hit this thing. There we go. Arthron is out. Right, the egg is going to hatch because I got too close to it. So let's take it out. There we go. One egg fewer to worry about. So, uh, what are we standing on there? We've actually got ourselves a, uh, a Phoenix shotgun. Um, which wouldn't be too bad. Do we have the action point cost to pick that up? Yes, we do. Got ourselves a free shotgun. And excellent. Can we move anybody else on this side? No. So, let's continue to move up here. Again, we do want to be careful with these eggs. We don't want to upset them if we can avoid it. And we've spotted ourselves an Arthron hiding around this corner, but he is currently panicking. You have no movement left. I'm going to go and move over here with the heavy, hoping that the heavy will draw any fire if that Arthron decides it's going to attack. What's our move? Let's go and see what this is might be something useful that we can use uh, another phoenix shotgun uh, let's go and give put that in your ready slot actually that gives us uh that gives us some options here we could use the shotgun uh, if we wanted to as opposed to the assault rifle um so we'll leave you around this corner they're relatively uh, spread out here. and uh, yeah that's all we have right now so end the turn now he's actually backing off around the corner. I'm, I'm fine with that. He's recovering his will points. Uh, but we do have a Triton coming in. Now he looks like... No, he's not taking a shot. Okay, so let's continue moving along in this direction. We need to find that other... What have you just spotted? Another egg. Uh, we need to try and find... Ah, there it is. The hatching sentinel. That's what we wanted to spot. The sooner we can find that, the better. So, we're going to go ahead and leave you here in cover. We are going to have you overwatching in this direction in case anything new decides it's going to make its way onto the map. And we're going to try and get over here with our sniper. Can't hit it on this turn, but the next turn we may well be able to. And uh, we're also going to try and get over here with our assault as quick as possible. Excellent. So, we still have a few enemies over here that we definitely need to be concerned about. That Triton is one of them. What's our move? Do we have a shot on the Triton with our heavy? We do. So let's take that shot. And the Triton is down. That that was a really good, uh, really good shot there. Now we do have to be careful of that egg. That egg is going to cause us some problems. And unfortunately, we can't do an awful lot of damage to these eggs. Not with this weapon. The uh, the Redeemer doesn't do a huge amount of damage. It's uh, the benefit it has is in the uh, in the virus damage that it does. We can possibly take that out with you, and it was enough. Excellent. 
We could even take a second shot, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do with you is actually put you on Overwatch there. Holding position. And we will have you on Overwatch there, just in case that Arthron decides to come around the corner. Yep, that's fine. Let's end the turn then. See if anything else is going to do anything. We've got an Arthron around there. We, we're heading in that direction, so we definitely need to be careful. And that's the one we were waiting for. Now, he might use his grenade launcher, and he is. He's hit our heavy. That's fine. He didn't actually kill the heavy, and the uh, the heavy has enough armor to, uh, to tank such attacks. So let's go ahead and just do a fire with the HMG. Good enough. That is down. Before I move any further over there, let's just deal with things on the left side, because if that is the, uh, the final hatching sentinel, then... This will essentially be the end of the mission. So let's start trying to take this hatching sentinel out if we can. We can't get a second shot. But we can move a little bit closer here. Again, we've got to be careful of the Arthron on this side. Uh, that's just an egg, which I don't think is a huge issue. A couple of Arthrons over here, actually. Now, that last one is quite far away. The chances of us actually uh, hitting this with the Iconoclasp on this distance are quite low. So I'm going to go ahead and just put an Overwatch uh, over here in case those guys come back a little bit closer. But we do have another Assault here with an Assault Rifle, which is more likely to hit from this distance. So let's take these shots very very close we do have some obstacles in the way uh, which pose a little bit of a problem i don't think there's going to be another one over in this corner i think there's usually only two um so let's go and um and have a look what's over here so let's start moving forwards with our priest i think these guys are a little bit too far away to really attack us i mean they might still do it but uh, what do we have here? We can't pick it up on this turn, but it is a uh, another Phoenix shotgun. We've already picked up a few of those. Let's just keep you in cover. And who do we have that we can still move? We've got you with the shotgun. Uh, let's go ahead and get you into some relative cover. Again, shotgun's not the best weapon for dealing with things like this at range, but Let's end the turn and see what happens. So you are going to start hatching the eggs now. So we're going to have a few mind fraggers to worry about. Got a fire worm right there. All right, we do have an Arthron moving in. Right, mind fragger. That could be a problem. And he's attacking my assault, unfortunately. That's not a huge problem. We can fix that. Incoming grenade. And that has hit our Anno Assault. And you're actually going for the melee attack. That's rather disappointing. We do have return fire. So he's essentially just uh, killed himself there. So, switch over to our pistol with our sniper. Move closer to our guy that's being attacked by the Mind Fragger. Shoot that mind fragger off. Now he is panicking, so he cannot do anything else on this turn. And the temptation here is do we try and finish that off on this turn, or do we try and clean up the stuff that's attacking us? My temptation is to try and clean stuff up right right at the moment. Moving to coordinates. So let's move over here. Let's try and take out that fireworm. Okay, fireworm is down. We do need to reload. Reloading. So let's go and do that. We need to deal with this guy, ideally. He's our biggest problem right now. So nobody's in a terrible state. We don't have a grenade. We can take some shots at this guy. We've damaged his pincer, but he was mainly in cover, which makes it difficult for us. I'm ready. What we could do is put a grenade his way. 
So let's go and do that. If it's enough to destroy something or if it's enough to make him back off, it might save our assault here. It's definitely in bad shape. Uh, we've still got our heavy. Our heavy, unfortunately, cannot get in close enough to do anything on this turn. Uh, we could um, jump jet in, but we've got very limited mobility because of the low uh, the low roof in here. So let's just move forwards. I'm going to go to this space so that we're not just running out into the uh, into a big group of people altogether. And uh, yeah, he's bleeding. He's panicking. Hopefully, he will just back off. Let's end the turn. Do have another fireworm over there. There is another Arthron as well. And another mine fragger. So yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff running around now. We have to be careful of these guys. I think so far, even though we've taken a few knocks, considering this is really a rookie team, uh, it's actually gone decently well. Switch back over to our sniper rifle with our sniper. And let's take that shot. Is that the last one on the map? Looks like it is. We don't have to worry about the others. So, got a few injuries, but that's not uh, that's not too bad. They'll heal quickly. And we picked up the uh, the shotguns and ammo. So there's a real temptation once you have one squad that is particularly well. Uh, advanced in terms of of levels and abilities because obviously having the abilities uh, does make the squad much better um and even if you have a second or maybe even a third or even a fourth squad you can get some limited level ups from the training facility but it's always nice to take them out and use them in a mission or two because you can get xp uh far more quickly but that that is uh that is good for us now we actually uh have a bit of XP on the board. Uh, we've got a few things here that uh, we need to replenish. Now, we can't replenish all of these things. For example, you know, I, I still don't have the ability to manufacture this. Um, we need to repair uh, the head of uh, our heavy. So that, that needs repairing. And, uh, we, you know, we've got some of the stuff that we need to replenish as well. So that's now repaired i haven't got to worry about that anymore we do have some promotions uh to deal with on the uh on the manticore so you have a promotion and we're going to go straight in for dash and we'll spend a couple of points just to get your speed up a little we'll give you a little bit more willpower as well uh looking at our personnel do we have any more promotions no just that one uh, we know about your ammo situation. We know about your weapon situation. So I think that is fairly decent. We will probably get um, these guys to return to Phoenix Point just to heal up and take advantage of the training facility while we use Thunderbird 2 to go out and do some of these missions with our more advanced squad. That leaves the Manticore with a full complement of troops who have some um, training who will be able to go around and pick off some of these points of interest uh, over here so thanks very much for watching we hope you are still enjoying this blood and titanium playthrough we'll see you on the next video and until then goodbye for now